Hello, welcome to the Keyence IV3 training module. This video will walk you through triggering the IV3 through Profinet using a Siemens PLC. In this example, we'll be using TIA Portal version 16, but the steps should apply to all versions. This video assumes you have already established connection between your IV3 and your Siemens PLC. If you have not, please watch the dedicated video for that process. Also, please make sure your IV3 program is set to external trigger. You can find this setting in sensor setup under trigger options in step one. As you can see in the left panel, we have our PLC and our IV3 configured in our project tree. The first thing to do is create some tags. I'll click PLC tags, then double click add new tag table, right click the new table, click rename, then name this IV3 tags. Now I'll double click the IV3 tags and in my IV3 tag table, I'll create three tags. The first tag will name trigger request. Make sure the data type is set to Boolean and set the address as Q0.0. Then we'll name our next tag trigger response. This will also be a Boolean data type and we'll give it an address of I0.0. .0. Now the last tag we'll create will just be called start. This will, again, have a Boolean data type and this will have an address of M0.0. .0. While I address our inputs and key addresses our outputs, M addresses our memory bits, we create this bit so we can manually start and stop our program from the PLC. You'll see how this works shortly. Next, we have to create our function block. Under our PLC in program blocks, we'll double click add new block, select function block and name it IV3 trigger. Then we'll click OK and our new function block automatically opens. Double click main OB1 to go to our main routine and drag and drop the block element onto network one. Then assign it as IV3 trigger. This will prompt us to create a data block, which will store the data for our function block. Click OK, then double click the IV3 function block. Here, we'll have to create one last tag in our data block under the in out section. We'll name it start trig. Now let's set up our logic. First, we'll drag our normally open contact onto network one. We'll label it with our start tag addressed at M0.0. .0. This will be the bit we turn on to start the process. I've chosen M0.0 .0 so that I can manually trigger the process from the PLC. In your case, you may want to choose a different bit, something like an input from a photo eye or a third party device sending signals to the PLC. For this example, the memory bit will do. Now we'll double click the contact to bring up this drop down. Select the peak contact so that this only closes when it sees a rising edge. You'll see it now requires another tag underneath. Assign this as our start trig tag. Next, we'll drag a normally closed contact to the right. We'll assign this to our trigger response tag. This makes it so the PLC stops sending our trigger request once the IV3 confirms it's received the request. Now we'll drag a coil to the right of the response and we'll assign this to our trigger request tag. From here, drag a branch to the start of the network rung then drag a normally open contact to it. Assign this contact to trigger request as well. Click and drag the branch upwards to meet our main run like so. Now our logic is complete. Now let's right click our PLC and select compile hardware and software only changes. Once that's finished, we'll go down to watch and force tables and select add new watch table. Here, we'll enter percent M0.0 .0 so we can watch and modify our start tag. I'll pop out this watch table so we can start the process and watch our changes take effect. Now I'll right click the PLC again, this time selecting download hardware and software only changes. This process will take a bit of time. Once that's complete, I'll drag in our IV3 navigator window to show the effect. Click go online to start communication with the PLC. I'll click the glasses icon so we can watch the logic change live. I'll also click the glasses icon in our watch table so we can monitor the bit. Now I'll change my modify value to 1 or true. Now I can click the lightning icon to modify the value and you'll see this triggers our IV3. Thanks for watching.